Um, it's a very nuanced question, so a complicated question. And um, uh, so making judgment calls, especially around work and when people trust you, I, um, everything depends on your level of consciousness as to how you, how you perceive things. Um, uh, also, on a, on a karmic level, um, I don't really want to be the bearer of, of bad news, but if, if one is a, if one is a, if one is, if one has positions of power or one is like a uh, one is a mentor, um, then um, the uh, the karmic responsibility is greater than if one is like an equal in in a, in a gathering of rooms. So just like as one generally speaking, as one gets higher in spiritual power, one tends to get promoted. Um, also, this is a field, I mean, I would go along with Hawkins and, and some spiritual teachers. It's a field of constant, um, constant choices. You know, life is, is like constantly, is, I mean, for me, this is not heaven. You know, there's, there is like a, a constant barrage of making choices in this realm. And to go up or down, you know, constantly. So every choice, now, when you're a nobody and nobody respects you, um, and no one puts their faith in you, there's, there's very little karmic consequence in what you do. You know, there's like, you know, it's like, well, you're a nobody. If I say, like, uh, you know, this is my opinion on you and I'm a nobody, it doesn't mean anything, really. I mean, I can say I, I talk garbage all day long. And I, I was in the garbage before, I'll still be in the garbage. When you go high, you get the perks. I mean, 12 Steps is really, um, is really, I think, one of the, one of the, for life and death addicts in the 12 steps, you know, we, what we know is it's, uh, it, it can, it's, it's life and death that we stay in spiritual condition and that we do the right thing. Now, when you're early on in 12 steps, you can make a lot of mistakes and, and God will be very, and you can still maintain a lot of grace because you're still quite ignorant. But the higher you go, and especially when you have responsibility for others, the karmic consequences of making errors is also greater. Um, this is... Um, uh, so this is the thing, I mean, Hawkins talks about Hitler and uh, Napoleon. Um, a lot of these people, a lot of the great people of power in the early days were actually very integrous and had very good motives, you know. Um, so Napoleon was a great soldier uh, in the early days and won a lot of battles and his intentions were very integrous. Um, now, as soon as you start getting power, um, I would say the universe will test you non-stop uh, on that and tempt you to take power for the ego. To, to, so, so as soon as Napoleon suddenly became like, you know, like, I don't know, sort of like everyone's worshipping him, you know, to switch from I'm being here of service to the country, um, to then take that power for oneself, you know, so he decided to crown himself. He didn't need a pope. I don't need the pope, so I'll just crown myself, you know, in charge of everything. So it's like then, you know, Hawkins would calibrate his, his consciousness probably plummeted <coughs> from something like, you know, for, I don't know, 490 down to like 110 below integrity in like a split second. You, you suddenly, you know, all the power that God had invested in you is like stripped. And in addiction, in addiction, you know, like, because um, we, our connection to God in 12 step programs for the life and death addicts. If you abuse the power enough, you just go back into the alcohol or the drugs. It's like God revokes your license uh, from you. So it's life and death for life and death addicts. So they have to walk the narrow path. I think going, becoming like a manager or having any kind of power is very... Um, you need mentors. I, I, don't, I don't recommend anyone. And, you know, people got mentors, that's great. But here's the thing. I mean, the thing... I think, uh, I can share from my own experience. My own experience is I don't like confrontation and, and doing the right thing. Uh, that, that's been something, and I think I can get away with that, but once you get high, um, it's more dangerous to try and get away with that, and not to speak up it becomes more, more dangerous. So the, the, the things with work is, or any situation, you know, I think Hawkins did, described it really beautifully. Um, so he was a medical, um, this is my view, so I'm on, on camera. This is my interpretation of Hawkins. Um, but was you know his 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 employer is God, 
It doesn't really matter what the context of the situation is. His employer is God. He's answerable to God. It doesn't really matter what situation you're in. So, you know, like um, in the medical profession, the medical doctor, if you don't go along with, um, with, the, um, with what you should do, with all the doctors and medical do, you know, you can have your license revoked, you can be poo-pooed, yeah. you can be told to be like you're a quack, talking like yeah. spiritual nonsense and sort of flower talk. So, I mean, he talked about a lot of stuff uh, which, you know, would, would bring him into, like, you know, he's talking about cloud cuckoo land, you know, so, uh, and it will take flack. He brought things to the medical, to the medical field around vitamins mm. and psychiatric disorders, which, when it wasn't popular, you know, and the, the, his research was ignored, you know, um, and he would talk about it, um, and, uh, you know, high doses of vitamins, when the, you know, when that wasn't cool. He's got nothing to do, you know, at that time, you know, it's got, vitamins has got nothing to do with having a mental disorder, you know, at that time. Anyway, now it's changed, because obviously he was, he was early on in bringing bring truth to the world on how, how certain vitamins were doing. So you get poo-pooed also um, with patients. So sometimes your, 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 um, you know, he would use, uh, you know, he started up his own psychiatric practice using unorthodox methods. So he'd, he'd use the, the medical, you know, antidepressants, but also with muscle test. Has this person got mercury poisoning? You know, you don't really do that generally. Medical doctors aren't going to you, oh, you've got mercury poisoning. Let's take a strand of your hair and find you look a bit cuckoo. So let's take a strand of your hair and come back next week. You know, so, you know, you cook, uh, let's give you a tablet, take this tablet, you calm down, you know. So, no, he would, like, muscle test, you know, okay, well, let's, t you know, we can, we'll go, we'll, is the medicine going to work for him? Yes or no? Yes, okay, we'll give him the, the medicine. Mm. Is, uh, does he require a, a heavy metals test? Yes, he does, okay. Heavy metals, mercury, okay. Let's give him a chelating agent to take out the mercury. Okay, and then the guy recovers. You know, you won't get that from a doctor. But, you know, the thing is there mm. is you're under so much pressure to do what the doctors and the psychiatrist yeah. to fit in. Otherwise, you could be kicked mm. out. But then he'd say, my responsibility is to God and to, the, and to serve the patient. Mm. So that becomes really, really scary because if, you're, um, if your job, your livelihood, your license, your reputation, the amount of flack you're going to get from your peers the amount of you know poo-pooing your methods that goes on. So, but you know he was going very high. The higher you go, the more responsibility you have. So if you're going towards enlightenment, you can't get, you know because so many people are looking to you, you know as as the savior, that you have to do the right thing. So now it's great. The higher you go, you know when you're nobody, you can be like a, a you know you can be like a you can be quite stupid and quite rude and, and say a lot of crap stuff and it doesn't really make much of a difference. The higher you go, um, generally speaking, yes. Um, I mean, situations do go, I mean, Hawkins talked about, um, I, you know, it's stuff that, which, which is, you know, I didn't find it very nice to hear. It's like, even if, even if um, let's say a country goes loopy and starts saying, you know, like this, this, ethnic group needs to be gassed or whatever you know and then you know do you say something or do you not say something okay. I mean Hawkins would say like you know uh, sometimes the bystanders are taking on the karma of the mm -hmm. people who are actually switching the button and sticking the gas in yeah. so you're, you're taking on karma so sometimes so it's very it's you know so uh, this is kind of uh, not meaning this to be a negative video but uh, but power. So I think, you know, things can be recoverable, but then you want your spiritual mentors. I mean, you have to like have spiritual mentors. You have to know, ultimately I'm answerable to God and the level of my answerability to God is also the level of my, con my, my spiritual awakening. Sometimes when I'm ignorant and I do things out of ignorance that you take on less karma. When you, when you knowingly do things, uh, that's going against your new spiritual awareness, and you know you do that, that there's a greater karmic, uh, karmic debt you take on board. Um, 
So, um, with Hawkins students, I mean, he's constantly talking to you to talk about, you know, talking about how lots of people in, you know, he'd, he'd go on about Hitler, then he'd go on about Napoleon, then he'd go on about this spiritual teacher, go on about that spiritual teacher. Because as you gain in spiritual power, you, you just flourish in, in politics, you flourish in politics, you flourish in spirituality, you, you, money comes your way, fame comes Can your I way. Say yep. So here is my dilemma, okay? So We're on I, camera. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah. I want to serve God today, wherever that is, in yeah. employment or wherever. Mm. Yeah. So on one hand, I'm sitting, um, crushing this young man. Yeah. Okay? Mm. I feel, this is what I'm feeling, I'm crushing this young man, and in the back of my head, I'm thinking I'm hearing an intuitive uh, you know, thought and guidance as to this is not what I want to be doing with my life, okay? Mm. Yeah. Mm. So that, and that event passes. Yeah. Three hours later, a different um, young man from, that's been working in that company mm. for six years, who's never ever gone for any promotion or anything, I've just promoted him 10 days ago, mm. and he's on the phone to me and he said, I've spoken to my wife. And I said to her, before you joined us and the support you provide, I would have never gone and fulfilled my dreams this way before because the support wasn't there. And then intuitive thought, you know, goes to me and says, that's your purpose there. That's what you're there for, to support people and to coach people. So in the same company, I go from, I don't want to be here. This is not what I want to be doing with my life, mm. you know, with, pe with other people. This is not how I want to be of disservice. Mm. To another, oh, perhaps this is why you are, because mm. this young man is now getting something he's never gotten in six years, because you're there being of service and supporting me the way they've never had that support at this level before. 